Welcome back to Country Homestead. In this video, we're going to show you how we made this concrete pier here. We put rebar down in it. We made this plate here that actually has some boats that runs down inside the concrete. And I put an X brace inside there to keep it from, from moving. We got a three quarter inch boat right here that we're going to end up pulling out. We're going to put us a piece of all thread that's going to be about a foot tall that's going to screw down in there. We're going to have a metal plate and we're going to have a nut so we can adjust it. Basically, it's how the uh, bearded carpenter made his settling beams. It's kind of backwards. So I'm going to adjust mine from the bottom. I have my beam come up to my top, my post come up to my top beam because my beam is starting to sag a little. So we're going to put this pole here. Now it's 20 foot from that pole there. It's 10 from this one. I still got 16 foot in between where this post is going to be and the corner of my mill. So when I come in with my tractor, I can still come in on the back side once we get the back side of our shop made, our shed. We got, re, like I said, it's rebarred, it's concrete, it's in the ground, a little over two foot, and it's above ground, you know, almost two foot. It's four foot altogether. So, uh, I think it's going to be pretty good, you know. Uh, we ain't had a problem with the front beam. I don't think we're going to have a problem, but I'm just kind of scared that once we build the back side of the shed, we're getting all that, you know, we're doubling the weight on this beam. So, I just want to put a, a support on it. And of course, you know, the grandbabies, they're always eager to help. You know, that's my oldest granddaughter there. She was helping me. And this one here is my little two-year-old granddaughter. And and uh, she's going to help me. She's holding that plumb bob out of the way. And I start to dig the hole. And here in a minute, you'll see when I stop digging, uh, she goes over there and starts throwing dirt back in it. <laughs> she, she's a big help. They are a blast, I tell you. If you see something on her face there, that's makeup. Her and her sister played in the uh, kids' makeup right before we uh, did this. And my two-year-olds look like she got a big black eye, but that's just makeup on her. They uh, they did a number to her on that. Here, what I'm doing, I'm putting four-foot uh, rebar. They're three-eighths of an inch rebar. I'm putting in that hole and. Uh, I'm hammering it down in the ground below that pipe, you know, the form. And I got them set so when I put my my metal bracket that I built, the uh, the cross spade that I made on it will go interlaced inside them rebar. And here in a minute, when you when you see I put my concrete all the way up, you'll see I stick another piece of rebar up in the top of it. So there's a there's good metal in that, uh, there's end up being three pieces of that rebar inside a four foot long. And then that short piece, it was like two foot plus, you know, all the boats and that spade that I made and, you know, everything else. So I, I really don't think it's going to go anywhere. Here you'll see that I'm taking all the excess concrete that I had left over and I'm putting it around the form and in between the form and the uh, the ground and the hoe. And I take a, a, a stick here and I'm going to tamp it down in there and then I take the rest of it and I just go around the, the uh, ground in the form, smooth it out. And all that's going to be covered underground anyway whenever I bring the uh, grade of my, my ground up once I get my shed finished.
here I start making the uh, foot that my six by six post is going to set inside and that's just a piece of old scrap iron that uh I had an old bucket truck that I, I scrapped and that's one of the outriggers that was on it and and so uh I'm using it to uh to build my my foot for my my post to set in here you'll see that uh, I'm scoring that lip with my grinder and then I'm going to take my grinding disc and I'm going to grind away in the front part of it right there and what that does that gives me a good crease line when I heat it up and you know bend it up to weld it so it uh you can see here that crease I got through there it makes it to where it bends a whole lot easier you know especially with that thick iron see the uh, thrush bearings that I ordered off of uh, Amazon they're a three-quarter inch inner diameter thrush bearing and they're just ball bearings and they got a little groove that they ride on uh, what I did uh, I put a good heavy grade 8 flat washer up against that bottom plate that we made and then I put the thrush bearing and then I put another heavy washer and then there's a nut and they all ride on that all thread and you see there my brother-in-law he got it to where he's going to adjust it up a little bit and got it held and 
and then uh, I tighten it up there so it'll start pushing up against that top beam and we just make sure it's all level and here in a minute you'll see that uh, we drill holes in the top of the beam up there and we got it bolted on with some uh, 8 inch half inch bolts nuts and washers that's how we put all of it together you know the whole shed you can see how it's all put together that all thread goes down in that plate there's nuts welded underneath that metal plate and then uh, I got a lock nut on the bottom to hold it from turning and that top nut you just turn it up and it rubs up against that uh, thrust bearing and it picks up that beam and you can see the top saddle that we made it's bolted to the uh, the beam up top so we can adjust it and, and uh, you know hold support on it so it does real good and if you made it to the end of the video here, we uh, we appreciate it. We appreciate you taking your time and watching it. And if you enjoyed it, we'd appreciate it if you give us a good thumbs up. And uh, go check out one of our other videos. We got plenty of videos on here. And, uh, you know, we're trying to grow this channel. We appreciate y'all taking the time and watching us. Y'all have a good one.